cooking with P-Dog. Now, this particular recipe we're going to do right here came to me out of necessity. And what happened was my brother's fiance is a vegetarian. And when they came over for dinner one night, I didn't want to cook up a nice meal and, and have everybody enjoy it and then have my brother's fiance sitting there eating a salad or something. So I had to come up with something vegetarian that tasted good, good enough for all of us to enjoy because I'm not a vegetarian, but that could also include her in the meal. So I had to come up with something that was vegetarian and tasty. And what I came up with was the vegetarian enchilada. Now, basically, you start with your fresh vegetables. Now, you got your broccoli. I dice up a little bit of uh, onion just for flavor mostly. You got some green chilies. You can use your Anaheim chili. That's what I got right here. You can use another similar green chili, your green pepper, not bell pepper. Uh, I got a little bit of zucchini. I don't really like zucchini too much, so I just use a little bit for, you know, the meatiness of the vegetable. Carrot. I throw a little bit of garlic and portobello mushroom, mushrooms. That's really the meat of the dish right there. So you put all your fresh vegetables, you got your broccoli, you got your chili, you got your portobello mushrooms, you got your zucchini, your carrot, your broccoli, I already said broccoli. You got all your fine, fine vegetables, your onion for flavor. And what I like to do is since I'm roasting, I like to put a couple cloves of fresh garlic, just snug them in somewhere on that little pile of vegetables. Then you pour your uh, olive oil. Maybe it's a nice little drizzle over the vegetables. And what I like to do, just to give the vegetables a little smoky flavor themselves, I like to put a little fresh, uh, or actually not fresh, but chili powder. Chili powder on the vegetables. And if I can find it, little bit of this cumin powder. That's what really gives it the little smoky flavor. And some pepper. And a little bit of salt. I you like using Lowry's break out the monster size. All right, now your oven is set at 425. Put your vegetables. Let them roast. It's been about 15 minutes. You want to let them roast for about, oh, 30 minutes or so. But about halfway through, that. You want to just pull them out and kind of mix them up a little bit. You got your broccoli, you got your carrots, you got your portobello, you got your onion. And they're all marinating and roasting nicely together. Sitting there mingling. You let those roast. 15 minutes. You can take this time to uh, get your mashed potatoes together. Now you can use whatever kind of mashed potatoes you like. You can use instant. I say about maybe two cups. Or I like to go with the fresh. I've already done it.
right now that your tortilla is ready to go. Got your veggie mixture. Just pop that down in your tortilla. This is kind of the dirty part right here. And make sure you add enough cheese. You really gotta add enough cheese on these puppies right here. Roll it up. Some people might have experience in uh, rolling up cigar shaped objects like this. I'm not saying that I do, but it feels kind of natural when I do it. And basically, that's it. You got your oven set at 350, reduced down from 425 when you were roasting your vegetables. So you got your oven waiting on you at 350. You're gonna roll these bad boys up. Make sure you keep a lot of cheese on them. And then the enchilada sauce, you can really use uh, you know, enchilada sauce is at your preference. I got the uh the Las Palmas medium. But you can use whatever you like. I, I would recommend the red sauce, but Feel free to experiment with the green sauce if you like. I'm sticking to red. Roll them up. Let them intermingle and marinate. Get cozy with each other. Put your uh, fine gelato sauce on here, however much you like. You can use a spicy, spicy hot sauce. You have that hot vegetarian flavor. You can use a mild if you're, you're kind of weak. Like right in the middle. I got the medium because I like I like for it to go down hot, but I don't like it too hot. I don't like to face the repercussions later. Cover her up. Plop it in. Three fifty. Twenty five minutes. Make sure you put a lot of cheese inside these puppies and you'll be good to go. Whew. Now they smell ridiculous. And like I said, you know, if, you're, if you are a vegetarian, this, this is definitely the way to go. I'm not even a vegetarian. But these taste just that good. cream on these babies. Now, hope you've enjoyed this little segment cooking with P-Dog. Right now, it's time to eat. <laughs>